Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So overnight we had news out of China that they're devaluing the Yuan against the US dollar, causing um, kind of a bit of a ripple effect across some other global markets with most regional, regional areas taking it as net, uh, net positive. Uh, most other currencies in the APAC region taking a little bit of a hit, especially the uh, Australian dollar as well. So we actually had a big spike up in the US 30 yesterday, very positive day, some decent data account that came out of the, of the US, um, but we are on the back foot already this morning uh, with uh, most global markets actually just edging slightly lower, uh, with US 30 just slightly below 17,561 at the moment, with other technicals relatively neutral, this still looks pretty top heavy. Um, we also had more news out last night, uh, one of the Fed members uh, had come out with a statement saying that the pretty much Fed September is, uh, is unless something major happens it's going to be when they're going to raise interest rates and that's caused a, um, uh, some not, not a huge amount of moves in the dollar actually have a look have a look at the dollar charts it's actually the dollar's lost value against uh, the sterling and the euro uh, and it's only made a little bit of gains against the uh, dollar yen um, but it's looking like September is going to be that next rate hike UK 100 um, very volatile session yesterday finishing still down but having recovered massively from the session lows uh, a fairly bearish engulfing pattern showing just now on the UK 100, uh, which uh, we are trading below the 55 period SMA. We're at 66.86, which is potential support. Also coincides at 21 period SMA with the other technicals relatively neutral and the MACD unable to break through that zero line. So it uh, looks to be pressure remains. Uh, commodities a little bit all over the shop, but we'll come back to them in a second. Um, Japan 225. Good day yesterday, breaking above potential resistance, only to reverse uh, this morning, uh, but it looks to be potentially supported by that 21 period SMA, uh, but 28.68 longer term potential resistance, with dollar yen currently at 124.80, so just a little bit above uh, that potential resistance level that we've talked about for, for a while. Longer term potential resistance, 126. Uh, long like a candle there on Friday and again already today uh, as indicative of the fact that there is selling interest around about 125 uh, and that's one thing just to keep your eye on. So moving on to Corral West Texas, it managed to bounce successfully off uh, potential support at 43.30. Um, quite a decent candle actually, bullish engulfing pattern, it's not followed through today so no continuation as of yet uh, and it's down about a half a percent at the time of recording. Um, and so we're still looking at that longer term potential uh, support around about 43. So looking at gold, uh, gold finally kind of break, breaking out. Uh, it's been all over the place again this morning. You can see just the long leg of candle means it was all the way down here. Uh, it's managed to eke out positive gains just above 21 period SMA. Next potential resistance actually would be 1137. So even with these comments from uh, one of the Fed members yesterday uh, about interest rates in the US, I think what was kind of discussed was that yes, again, September is going to be the first rate hike, but that the trajectory for future uh, rate hikes will obviously be very slow and um, very carefully considered. And uh, I think maybe that's what's, what's causing this uh, kind of flip flop and um, and cable and euro dollar and everything else. But it's giving a shot on the arm for gold anyway, which is usually very interest rate uh, sensitive. Um, but it's certainly uh, moving higher at the moment. So it's indicative of the fact that interest rates are less of a concern or stronger interest rates are less of a concern for people trading gold at the moment. Short contracts of gold obviously have been falling quite dramatically recently. So finishing up with your dollar and GBP USD. So your dollar pushing up nicely, uh, great deal, hopefully going through. Uh, longer term potential resistance, 1.11, uh, which would also coincide with that 55 period SMA. Um, so uh, again, it came off this morning, pushed back up again. Um, so that's got some, some decent momentum uh, in the price. And uh, looking at cable, we're back, we're back oscillating around 156 again. So but looking at these long -like candles, that's, that, that pattern is not going to just disappear. Uh, I'm sure cable has really struggled to get above 156 with any sort of conviction. Um, so we'll see how the macro data comes out. And it's not really a huge amount until you get to like Thursday. So today you've got the ZDW business report. That'll be good for your dollar. Uh, Wednesday, you've got not a huge amount. Uh, industrial production with the US, that'll be important. Crude oil inventories. But it's Thursday, you've got CPI for the Eurozone and retail sales. That'll be a big one for the, uh, for the, for the US as well. And then on Friday, you've got Eurozone CPI uh, and, uh, and US PPI as well. So a lot of like interest rate um, sensitive macro events for the uh, US over the next few days. So make sure you have your alarms set on that. And uh, make sure you make the chart forward and part of your leg going forward. And the same with the insights as well. 
and uh, and join us again tomorrow to find out what happened next. Mm-hmm.